welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building the Southern Pacific Kraus Mappi ML4000 diesel hydraulic locomotive. And this one has a rather unique shaped cab. So let's get right into the build here. So as usual, we're going to start off with the rear coupler. So take a dark oak stair and attach that up. Under it, a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then on the next block down, we're going to put three gray concrete on the bottom middle and a polished deep slate slab on the upper hip box of each side. Then five gray concrete across here. Come over here and open a dark oak fence gate on each rail on bottom. And then two lightning rods here and two here. Come in front of this and do a two block tall T shape of gray concrete in the middle and hang a lantern on the bottom of each side. Then we need to crouch, and right here we're going to put two smooth quartz slabs for stairs, and we're going to do the same exact thing on this side. Then on the middle here, we're going to put two gray concrete on the center. Then we're going to close an oak trapdoor on the bottom of each side, and then above it we're going to put two upside down forward facing polished deep slate stairs on the top of each side here, like that. Then we're going to come on the next block in front of this and put a sideways dark oak fence gate on each rail. In front of that, we're going to do a netherite wheel on each rail here with a cauldron in between them. And then right here, a grindstone. Turn around, skip a block, and a set of netherite wheels with a cauldron between them. Then in the middle, a grindstone going this way. Then come over here. A grindstone on this side, skip a block, and another set of netherite wheels with a cauldron. And then a grindstone here. Then in between them on each side, we're going to put two dark oak trap doors on the bottom of each side, and same thing over here. Then we're going to put a hopper on the sides of all six wheels. Then in between where the hoppers are, we need to put polished deep slate stairs upside down in a back-to-back T-shaped pattern on each side here. So it looks like that. Then we're going to do the same thing on this side. So get upside down polished deep slate stairs in a back-to-back T-shaped pattern between each of these hoppers. Then we'll come stand up here crouch and put a polished deep slate slab on top of all six hoppers here. So our truck looks like this. And then a dark oak fence gate on either side of this end. Now take polished blackstone, skip one block forward from these fence gates so there's a gap of space. And we're going to go three wide on the bottom middle. And we're going to make it 15 blocks long here. And we'll make that a giant rectangle, so it's a 3 by 15. Once you have that, come back where we left this gap, and this is where the air tank goes. So in this gap, we're going to put three sideways anvils. Then we'll come in front of this fuel tank and do our front truck. So on either side up here, a dark oak fence gate. Then in front of it, another right wheel on each rail with a cauldron in between them. Then a grindstone here. Turn around, skip a block, another set of wheels with a cauldron, and a grindstone here. Then come over here, grindstone in the middle here, skip a block, and another set of another right wheels with a cauldron, and a grindstone here. Then we'll put two dark oak trap doors on all four of these gaps here. Then come up here and a dark oak fence gate on either side up here. Then we're going to put a hopper on the side of all six wheels. And then same as before, in between each of these hoppers, we need upside down polished deep slate stairs. Two of them in a back-to-back T-shaped pattern here. And then of course, we're going to do the same thing on this side. 
get two upside down polished deep slate stairs in between each of these hoppers and an upside down back to back T-shaped pattern. Then we'll come on top of here, crouch, and we need to get a polished deep slate slab on the top of all six of the hoppers. Now we'll do the front end, so come in front of these fence gates, and we're going to do a five by three of gray concrete coming out to each side. In front of that, a three block tall T-shape in the center. Hang a lantern on either side of the second layer. In front of this, a gray concrete in the middle, a polished deep slate stair on either side, and a slab on the upper hip box of each outside edge. Then above that, five gray concrete across here, and above that, another five gray concrete across here. In this side gap, we're gonna put three smooth quartz slabs coming up for stairs, and three on the other side. Then on top of the front, on each side, we're gonna put two birch fence gates on either side. And actually, we're gonna make this top center block a polished deep slate stair. Then take a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and stack it up to the middle second block. Under it, we'll do a sideways dark oak fence gate and open a dark oak fence gate on either side of the bottom. Then two lightning rods here and two here. Now we'll come up top on this second layer and we're gonna fill this whole top middle three, end to end, three wide, with polished black stone block. And drag it right down to the other end here. All the way till it gets back here. Now we're going to put a grindstone above each outer wheel and a mangrove fence gate above the middle. Do the same thing here, fence gate in the middle, grindstones on the outer ones. Copy it for this truck, so grindstone here and here, mangrove fence gate in the center. And then repeat that on this side. Then on all four corners of this, we're going to put two sideways lightning rods in between the grindstones and the fence gates on both sides. And we'll repeat it over here. So two here, two here, then two here, and two here. Now we're gonna take out gray shulker boxes and on the bottom of the fuel tank do a full line of gray shulker boxes facing sideways like this. Do the same thing on this side of it, a full line of gray shulker boxes here. Just like that. Then, on the eighth block in from the back of the fuel tank, we're going to put a wither skeleton skull on the shulker box. And then same thing right here on this side. Then take out polished deep slate slabs and do a line of polished deep slate slabs above all the shulker boxes. And same thing on this side here. Just like that. Then go back to polished blackstone. And on this third layer, on the top middle three, we'll fill that three wide with polished blackstone down to the other end. Then when we get to the back, we're actually gonna stop right here. Then we're gonna go back to gray shulker boxes, come up to the front on this top outside edge, and we'll do a full line of sideways gray shulker boxes on this top outside edge. And we'll bring that all the way down to the back of this polished black stone. So there's a drop down at the back there. We'll do the same thing here. We'll pull a line of gray shulker boxes on this top outside edge up here.
will come on the back here and put five gray shulker boxes facing this way across the back right here. Then a T-shape of polished deep slate slabs on this back porch and a player head right there. Then come up here and put a wither skeleton head right here. Now come on top of the front on the third block back in the center, three red concrete. Then change this one to gray wool and this one to gray wool. Then we need to grab red stained glass panes and we're gonna put two here, two here. Then we're gonna do three red concrete on this side, three here. Behind it, two rows of three gray concrete on each side. Fill the top with gray concrete. Then come right here knock out this one and we're going to knock out a line of six of these shulker boxes coming back and change them to gray concrete. Then right up here we're going to put an iron door on the side right here then turn this way and put a spruce door. Then four gray concrete behind it. Over here we're going to start right here knock out this one and knock out a line of six change it to gray concrete. Then we're going to put an iron door on this side right here, turn this way, and a spruce door here. And then four gray concrete here. On top, a gray concrete at the front, and three white concrete. Then three white concrete here, gray concrete at the back. Then a row of five gray concrete on top of each side here. Then take polished deep slate stair facing outward, one here, one at the back. Same thing on this side, one here, one at the back. Then three cyan stained glass panes in the middle of each side. Up here, a cyan stained glass block on either side, gray concrete in the center. Then we're gonna take gray banners, crouch, and we're gonna stack three gray banners over this iron door to cover it so you don't see it from the side. Then we're gonna do the same thing back here. So stack three gray banners over this door. Then we're going to come down to the back end here. And right here, above these shulker boxes on the middle three, we'll do three red concrete. And we're going to stack that up four blocks tall. On the top two layers, we're going to put three red stained glass panes like this. Then we're going to come up here on either side and put a line of gray concrete like this in a single layer and we'll drag both sides all the way down to the back until it connects up here. Just like that. In front of this red concrete we're going to do two columns of three deep slate tile walls, skip a block and other two columns, skip a block and other two columns. Then copy this pattern of walls over directly across to the other side. Then we're going to fill the gaps between them with gray concrete. And we can go ahead and put a column of gray concrete in front of them on each side as well. Now we're going to move up by the cab here and we're going to do a four by three of gray concrete on each side like this. Then same as before, two columns of walls, skip a block, two columns of walls, skip a block, two columns of walls. Then copy the pattern of walls over to this side. And we'll fill all the gaps between them with gray concrete. And then we'll go ahead and fill this middle gap up to the top with gray concrete as well. And same thing on this side here. Then we'll come up top, start one block behind the cab here, and do a line of gray concrete all the way up this top middle to fill everything in. Just like that. Now come on top of the side windows and put three gray carpet on top of these stained glass panes on each side here. Then we're gonna crouch, and we need to put iron trap doors three wide at this level of the cab here and we're gonna drag it back across the cab so we have a base to work with. Right till you get here. 
then come on top of the front with polished deep slate slab. One on either of these windows, three across the front sticking out like this. Then in this gap, we're going to open back to back dark oak fence gates for the horn in the middle here. Then slabs down and around it. Then two slabs on either side and three across the back. In this gap, we'll put two levers for our antenna. Then we're going to come down to the very back and put three mangrove slabs across here. Then take polished deep slate block right here, make a plus shape, then a second connected one, and a third. And that's for the fans. Then we'll come up right here, another plus shape right here, a polished deep slate block, then a second and a third. Then, in the middle of this gap here, two blocks here, and up here, two blocks here. Then we're going to cover the rest of the top of this roof with polished deep slate slabs, anywhere we haven't built something, and make sure we get down in between all these fans here. And then we'll come around this, across here, then we got to get in between all these fans, right down to the back here. Now take spruce fence gates, put four on the side right here, four on this side. Then four right here, four right here. Then we're going to come through with black stained glass panes. And everywhere there's a deep slate tile wall, we're going to cover all the walls with black stained glass panes because these vents actually stick out slightly. And we'll do the same thing for all the vents. And then, of course, we're going to do the other side here. So cover all these walls with black stained glass panes. Then once that's done, we need to grab ladders for some more vent detail here. Right here, we're going to put a 2x2 two two of ladders, and then two oak fence gates above it. Then right here, a 2x2 two two of ladders with fence gates above it. Then we'll repeat it on this side. So a 2x2 two two of ladders over here with fence gates above it, and then a 2x2 two two right here with fence gates above it. Now we're going to do our railings to take out birch fences and right up here we're going to start on the bottom and come up by four then back by three then right here we'll come up four over one up one same here so up four over one up one then right here up four back by three then take spruce fence, and we're going to put two here and one above this player head like that. Then we'll come down to the back. And we'll take out our birch fence right here, and it needs to have a column of four here. Then here we'll come up three, over one, up one. And here we come up three, over one, up one. And then here we need a column of four. Then take spruce fence, two here, one above this player head. Then coming forward right here along this walkway, we're going to come all the way forward alternating between a birch fence and a spruce fence. Bring that all the way up. It's tedious, but the effect is worth it. And we'll stop when we get right here. Then we have to do the exact same thing on the other side. So come back here and start alternating, coming forward along this walkway between a spruce fence and a birch fence. Just keep it coming. 
come in here. Till you get right there. Then we're gonna come up here under this ladder and we're gonna knock out a line of eight blocks coming forward. Then skip one and knock out four and we'll fill all the holes with white concrete. And that represents the lettering since it's too small to make actual letters. Then we'll come under here under this ladder, knock out four, skip one, knock out eight. Then go ahead and fill that with white concrete as well on this side. Then I accidentally knocked out that shulker box, so I had to replace it here. Now we're gonna come up here with gray carpet. And we're gonna crouch, put four gray carpet here, then three here, and three over here. Then cover the whole top of this nose with gray carpet. Now come into a loom with a yellow banner and black dye. We're gonna put a black border on and a horizontal in the middle. Then go to a gray banner and red dye and make three horizontal stripes like this. Then switch to gray dye and put a triangle across the bottom like that. Then we'll do the same thing but opposite, so three horizontal red stripes again. Then go to gray dye and do the opposite triangle like that. And we'll come place these. Come up on the side of the nose, put this triangle one here, and then the opposite one on this side. Then on this front, we'll actually have to take out this carpet and put three glow item frames coming up. We're gonna put the yellow banners on the bottom two item frames for all the lights. And we're gonna turn the second one sideways. Then on the top item frame, we're gonna put a redstone block. Then on the side of the nose here, a dark oak sign. And we're gonna put capital X and 9010. Same thing on this side. Then go ahead and hit these signs both with white dye and a glowing sack. Then we're going to come down to the rear end back here. On the bottom middle, a glow item frame with our yellow banner. And above that, a mangrove sign with 9010. Hit the sign with white dye and a glowing sack. And now we're going to come work on the interior, which is going to be slightly weird because the doors are so low on this cab. So we'll take prismarine brick blocks and we'll come through this door. And on this side, we'll leave a gap of two and we'll make two layers of three right here. Then a two by two here, three across under these windows right here. Then one on this middle for a control stand. Then right here, a two by two by two. Then a column of two right here. On this back middle, put two blast furnaces. Then we'll put two ladders here to get down to the door. And two ladders here. Then take out a stair here and here for seats. And we need to fill that hole with prismarine brick. We're gonna put a glow item frame with a recovery compass here and a lever here on the control stand. We just barely squeezed in enough room to be able to get in and out of this thing with its really, really low doors. So now we'll make sure we can fit down this ladder and out this door. And we have just enough room and we're good to go here. So there we have it folks. We've completed our Southern Pacific ML4000 diesel hydraulic locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.